Alexander Ustinov. Won his fight. He was injured. Scott Lighty will replace him. And now we've got our super fight. Marvin, the beast man, Eastman, in a super fight tonight, taking on Ray Seffo. He's one of the most recognizable K-1 superstars in the world. After nine years in the spotlight of K-1, New Zealand's Ray Seppo is a perennial contender to wear the world crown. He's been in the eight-man field at Tokyo Dome five times, but he's still searching for his first K-1 world title. Just six weeks ago in Japan, Seppo's 2004 campaign began with a bang as he scored a second round knockout of Bob the Beast Sack. Tonight, Seppo makes his long overdue debut in the United States. His opponent, Las Vegas' own Marvin the Beast Man Eastman. Diminutive in size, but not in heart. Oh, and McDonald is groggy. Michael McDonald backed up. I'm not sure he's gonna finish this round. Eastman gave Michael McDonald all he could handle back in April. Tonight, the Beast Man gets an opportunity to face off against one of K-1's very best. You know, I'm gonna go out fighting hard. I'm gonna, when I'm falling to the ground, I'm gonna be punching, you know, because, you know, I'm a savage, you know, when I get in that ring. And I don't, like I said, it don't matter who show up. He does bring the game, and uh, that's my style also. So one of us has gotta give it somewhere. <laughs> he, his chin can be touched just like mine. So. You know, he put on his underwear the same way I do, you know. I ain't afraid to fight nobody. I don't see uh, that fight, our fight, um, going, to, going the distance. Uh, so, I definitely see a knockout there. And coming to the blue corner, Marvin the Beast Manny. And coming to the red corner, Ray Seppo. gentlemen here at the Bellagio of Las Vegas we go to a K1 rules super fight three three minute rounds K1 rules apply the three judges at ringside scoring will be Nelson Hamilton 
John Mullen and Sal D'Amato. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, John Shorley. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and officially weighing 214 pounds, 17 victories, including 10 knockouts with five defeats. He comes to us from Las Vegas, Nevada, the former WFA light heavyweight champion of Marvin, the beast man And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trimmed with white, and officially weighing 228 pounds. 45 victories, including 32 knockouts, 11 defeats with one draw. Originally fighting out of New Zealand, now out of Los Angeles, California. Former WMTF World Heavyweight Champion, Sugarfoot Recipo. Okay, guys, K1 rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now, come out, fight the ball, good luck. Ray Seppo, Marvin, the beast man, Eastman, and a super fight here at Battle at Bellagio 3, tail of the tape. Okay, big difference here, the weight, Seppo, weight advantage over Eastman. Otherwise, similar in age, height, and big, big difference experience. 45 wins, 32 knockouts for Sefo against 17 and 5 with 10 KOs for Eastman. In 33 years, Ray Sefo has done a whole lot of fighting, Ron. He is a walking K1 history book. In the blue trunks, fought some of the biggest, all the biggest names in K1. And a big punch early on by Ray Sefo has staggered Marvin Eastman. Eastman, a lot of activity, a lot of power. But he tends to hit to get hit with some big shots. And keep on standing up straight and doing so. And then Seppo's looking pretty trim. I've seen him a lot heavier. 228's a good fight and fighting weight for Ray. He's come in heavier. He's he's been lighter, but when he's lighter, he doesn't have the power. Stop! Stop! Seppo still trying to get that elusive K1 World Championship. Probably the most popular and best K-1 fighter never to have won at Tokyo Dome. Five times to Tokyo Dome, never come away a winner. Oh, big punch by Eastman. You saw the sweat fly from the head of Ray Sefo. Sefo saying, you didn't hurt me. In fact, I'm going to put my gloves at my knees. Go ahead, try to hit me again. And I, I believe him, too. We saw him go up against Mark Hunt on one occasion where they just traded bombs back and forth. And now it looks like Eastman might be in trouble. It's like His Eastman may cut, cut something in the eye. Like maybe he got something off the mat in his eye. If he just got kicked in the eye with a toe, well, it's going to be too bad. But he is saying something is in there. And it didn't appear to be, he didn't react like it was a blow. It just looked like, again, a foreign object maybe in the eye that blinded him. And let's see if we can pick up exactly what happened on the replay. They stopped the clock here. The referee is allowed to call a timeout if there's Stand been some in. interference Go. with the bout. Go. The foreign object would be. Let's see. The kick misses. Oh, and we're back to live action now. And it looks like Ray Seppo has done enough damage where John Shorely stepped in with Eastman pinned up against the ropes and has stopped it. can't believe it. Gonna have to get an official word on this, but it looks like that the referee has stopped the fight. It says Marvin Eastman is not able to fight and defend himself. Eastman's having none of it. He says, I'm ready, I'm ready to go right now. He's saying, come on, let's go. Oh my, and there's Bedlam inside the ring. It's a Ronnie Seppo is fighting some of the fighter men from Marvin Eastman. Other men are entering the ring. They're trying to clear things up. It started out, it appeared to be just some fun verbal jousting. Eastman obviously.
obviously upset that he was not allowed to go on in this fight. Ray Seppo said, come on, let's do it now. Freelance. And Eastman went after it. Seppo landed a huge punch and put Eastman back on the canvas. And that's when hell broke loose. Well, uh, and hell is no longer broke, broke it loose because there are policemen in the ring. There is Bellagio security. They, uh, they don't take lightly to this in Nevada, and order has been restored very quickly. But we had a good 30-second free-for-all going in the ring with both corners going at it. About a half a dozen individual fights have broken out. And Ray Seppo there as they get out of the ring. Let's close this down quickly. Ray Seppo has left the ring, and that will take some of the gasoline off the fire. C certainly was a free-for-all going. All right, well, let's take a look exactly how things ended. Eastman was getting tended to by the cornerman, and then he went to touch gloves with Seppo. Seppo had nothing to do with that. And then John Shirley stepped in. Interesting. Marvin Eastman from Las Vegas being supported by the home crowd here. Ray Seppo did the wisest thing, and he left the ring. Well, we've seen these two fighters before, and Marvin Eastman and Ray Seppo are both gentlemen. You can lose it momentarily. They both are fighters. They both wanted the fight. It was an unfinished bout between these two. Things got out of hand, but order was restored quickly. Here's, Here's what the... happened after the fight, where they said, come on, let's go. Eastman said, I want to fight, and look at Seppo. So he went. The two went back at it again, uh, unsanctioned, of course, by the officials. Now, I said a half a dozen fights had broken out. I may have been. I think you uh, understand it. Yeah, right. I think, well, <laughs> I don't know that individual fights broke out, but there was a lot of people trying to restore order in there. And for all the fury and controlled chaos that K-1 brings, that's the first time we've seen that happen since Mike Tyson stepped in the ring. And and it looked like it looked like John Shortley had started the ring fight again, but Marvin side. Eastman did not know that he was supposed to fight again. Well, I thought maybe Eastman was going out to touch gloves with him, saying all is fine. And yeah, that's an unwritten rule. But you're fair game at that point, too. You, you are. And in fact, you are in the rules told that as soon as the referee allows the fight to continue, you are on your own. If you want to touch gloves, that's at your risk.